Hey, booze. Hey. Happy Masculine Mondays, you guys. So, I'm so excited to bring you guys this topic. So, I've been so hyped to do this video all day. So, happy Masculine Mondays. I am Regal Essence. I am Queen TV. Come through. I think I need you here. <laughs> I am Regal Essence. I am Queen TV. I'm Queen TV after dark. I'm Life is a Love Goddess. I'm Life is a Layback Mom. I'm your crystal healer and dealer. And I'm your past life princess. Hey, booze, hey. So, y'all, I'm so excited to bring you guys this topic. So, all right. So, I just said I'm your past life princess. So, let me tell y'all something that happened today, right? So, let me calm down. I'm hype. So, you guys. So, I believe personally, personally, I believe that little kids, or especially the little kids um, of today's age, like, I feel like they are like old souls in like little bodies, okay? So, my theory, my theory is true, y'all. So, let me tell y'all. Um, um... I'm at my one uh, job site, right? And these kids are so cute. Like, they're the cutest little kids. But, like, I swear, like, they're the cutest little grown people that, like, I ever met, right? So, let me tell y'all what this baby said. So, he was playing baseball. Like, they had this little thing on the floor, and they was, like, setting up the baseballs or whatever. So, he was playing baseball on the floor. And guess what he said, y'all? He was like, yeah, um, I used to play baseball whenever I was a grown-up so you know me like my ears perk up so I'm like what you mean he was like I used to play baseball whenever I was a grown-up I was like oh I was like what you mean a grown-up and he was like um no I, I asked him again I was like you used to play ba best baseball whenever you was a grown-up so he was like he was like, yeah. So the more I'm asking him, like, the more, like, he's getting, like, hype. And he's, like, smiling. So then I was like, I was like, how you know? Like, how did you, you know? He was like, I had a dream about it. Y'all, that is past life regression, you guys. So I also believe that the little people of today, they come into this incarnation more woke than we are right and this ties into what it is that i'm talking about because y'all know that i said that whenever you are a little kid your gifts are just like pure and open right we come into this incarnation with psychic gifts right and then as we go through childhood and things of that nature and people start to make us feel funny about what it is that we know versus kind of like embracing everything, right? Because as a kid, we're at our rawest form, right? So it's like we remember things. We're very, they, they're very um, open to the spiritual realm, to the astral realm, all of that stuff. So like he knew beyond a shadow of a doubt. So I was like, really? So after he was like, I had a dream, but I said, what? And he was like, yeah. And he was like, I was him. And he showed me like a figurine, like y'all, our babies, like our babies be knowing, right? And, and, and I would, I would, I would dare to believe that a lot of you guys, whenever you were born or, were, or whenever you were young, you also were very in touch with your, um, psychic gifts and like said as we go throughout life and you know like being psychically gifted like sometimes that's a lot for an adult like they don't know what to do with this information like they don't know what to do with the fact that you just know things or you can feel things or you can hear things right so they may play it off they may brush it off they may have made us feel like we were weird or whatever the case may be now, me personally, I can't necessarily say that, like, as a child, I resonated with certain gifts per se, but I can, um, I can say when certain gifts start to come, started to come online for me, right? So, yeah, y'all. So, that's y'all, y'all little past life fact, right? So, oftentimes, as we start to go through our 
spiritual awakening, we will have visions. Um, we may go to certain places and it may trigger certain things, certain memories, certain dreams, flashbacks, things of that nature. That is past life regression. And I also want to let you guys know that who it is that you are right now, the way that your life is playing out right now in this current lifetime is tied directly linked to your past life, right? So because I'm talking to my masculines today, I know that a lot, a lot of, I know a lot of the masculines that, that, that I am around or that are in my space. Um, and I live in the city of Philadelphia. Um, there's a lot of violence and things like that. Right. And sometimes whenever we, um, tend to have like a liking toward a certain thing, um, like <laughs> guns or like knives, or we're just like, we're drawn to certain things. It often has a lot to do with our past life. So it's very important that we get an understanding of what our past life was like, right? Because most times we are supposed to do something different within this lifetime, right? But whatever we did in a past life, the things that we are successful at in a past life, we will naturally be gifted at doing and being in this lifetime, okay? So, yeah, so... Yeah, so I don't know. We gonna we gonna we gonna get we gonna have to we gonna have to delve into like past lives like like a little bit deeper. But anyway, that's your little past life back. So today, you guys, we are talking about divine masculine. Are you clear cognizant, right? And you guys, this is going to be the last of our clear. Um, or our psychic gift um, series, right? So I'm excited to see what God wants me to talk to you guys about next. So today, you guys, we are talking about six ways to know that you are clear cognizant. Clear means clear, right? Cognizant has to do with clear knowing. So, divine masculine. Are you gifted in the fact that there are just things that you know, you just be knowing stuff, right? Um, and the importance, like I've mentioned before, like the importance of me doing this series is because I want to highlight to us that the things that happen to us, um, the ways that we are able to operate in naturally may not come naturally to someone else, right? And I want us to be able to recognize what things are gifts, and what things are giftings, right? Um, because one, I need you to know that you special or whatever. I need you to know that you're special. I need you to be able to see yourself um, through the eyes of the most high, right? I need you to be able to see your uniqueness. I need you to be able to see how it is that your life impacts those around you and how it is that your life was um set to play out right in this incarnation right so i want to build you guys up in that way right um understanding who it is that you are spiritually i believe um will elevate your self-esteem in a way that nothing else really can right and then everything else falls into place so um we're going to talk about if you are clear cognizant today i was about to say something else <laughs> I forgot. We'll come back to it. All right. So six ways you can know if you are clear cognizant or just clear knowing. Right. So number one, do you get information like downloads? Right. Downloads is whenever you just have a plethora of information or a tidbit of information that will just come into your knowing. You just you know it right and you don't necessarily understand how it is that you know it also it can be called channeling right channeling because our clear cognizant gift how oh my goodness i hope this has not been too loud throughout this whole video um clear cognizant the clear cognizant gift is tied to your crown chakra right so our crown chakra connects us to our divinity connects us to the most high um so you want to think of it as downloads they it basically the information comes from the angelic realm down into your cranium your dome sack or it just comes into your head right so you want to think of it like 
you could think of your head as almost like a, a mail slot, right? And the messages come in, right? Like mail, you stick it in the mail, right? Ding, you got mail. That can be um, a representation of what it is like to be clear cognizant, okay? So number one, you get downloads, meaning you get information that you are um, basically um, receiving directly from the angelic realm, or it can be um, also called channeling, meaning the information is coming in and it's coming through, right? Um, people that are inspirational speakers, oftentimes they are clear cognizant. Sometimes you're just talking and you don't even know how it is that you know the information that you are knowing, how it is like, I didn't even know I knew this, right? Um, certain situations, number two, certain situations, you just have this gut feeling, like you have this gut feeling that you're like, you know what, um, I think it should be done this is such a way, right? Or have you ever, you were on your way somewhere or you were on your way to do something and you just felt Mm, you just felt this unction to either not go there or go a different way, go a different route. And that proved to be something positive, whether it was you were able to help someone else, whether it was you avoided a travesty, um, some type of, of, of catastrophe. Well, I'm so dramatic, right? <laughs> I really don't mean catastrophic, but maybe kind of catastrophic something lethal right something where like I didn't show up to the club or I decided not to go to the party right and then you find out that it was a shooting or something really bad happened or I decided not to go down this street and I found out later there was an accident it was a pileup right I decided uh I'm not gonna take this the highway I'm I'm just gonna go through the city and then you find out it was a big traffic jam because it was an accident right those are um th that is an example of being clear cognizant right so if you experience things like that you may very well have the gift of clear cognizance right so just downloads information gut that gut unction to just do something different right also too do you find that whenever you're talking to people you oftentimes you interrupt people you don't do it on purpose but you interrupt people while you're talking while they're talking because it's almost like you already know what it is that they're going to say right you clear knowing you already know what it is that they're going to say so you tend to like jump ahead and you start to answer or you start to um talk over them and you don't do it on purpose but it's just like two things one you feel like you already know what they're going to say and two you uh, those of us that are clear cognizant that leads me to point number three those of us that are clear cognizant like our mind is always going like we are full of information we're full of 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 knowledge right number five number four we're full of knowledge like we are kind of like a bank of wisdom it's like we gain information and we just kind of like tuck it away right and we have this ever expanding ability to retain knowledge. Number five, do you like to read and research? Are you very analytical, very logical? Is your mind always going and going and going, right? Number six, are you able to just gain answers? Gain answers to problems, either problems that will help you in your life or help your family and friends, right? What that also may look like is, Sometimes I'll have something going on and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to sleep on it. And when I wake up in the morning, I'm going to have the answer, right? Clear cognizant. The answers just come to you. The solutions just come to you. Ideas just come to you. It's just like, bing. it's just illuminated in your mind that I think I should do it this way. Or I, um, I have a bright idea for a business idea, right? Clear cognizant, right? So... Let's talk about ways that we can um, strengthen our clear cognizant gift. Number one is we want to acknowledge our intuition. We want to acknowledge our intuition and celebrate it. We don't want to just um, discard it as, oh, it's just a coincidence, right? Oh, another way too. Like, are you like, are you really good with like predictions? Like, can you predict certain? Um, um, athletic teams like they're going to win or can you just predict things almost like a guess like do you ever just be sitting and be like you know what 
I bet you such and such and such and such is going to happen, right? Clear cognizant. Do you have the ability to know when people are lying? And not only do you know when they are lying, you actually know the truth. So not only do you know that mm, they're lying, but you also know the truth. Do you have the ability? I'm giving y'all way more than, than <laughs> I'm giving y'all way more than six. Do you have the ability to, whenever you meet someone, you can pretty much tell right from the beginning if they're a good person or or not a good person, right? Do you have the ability to do that, huh? Are you like a human lie detector? We've mentioned this whenever we just talked about overall psychic gifts. Are you a lie detector? But at the same time, like, not only do I know you liar, I also know the truth, right? Crazy, right? Clear cognizant, okay? So, ways that we can strengthen our clear cognizant gifts. First and foremost, acknowledging the fact that you are intuitive and you do have intuitive psychic gifts, right? God has gifted you to be able to just know things. Are you the friend that is the one with all the wisdom? People can always come to you and, and be able to get good advice, right? Do you give advice or, or when you're speaking or you're talking or you're creating and it's like you're just getting all this information and you're, you didn't even realize that it was there, right? Sometimes when I go and I rewatch my old videos, I'm just like, damn, like, how did I know that in that moment on the spot? You just know certain things, right? So ways that we can strengthen um, that clear cognizant gift is journaling. Just sometimes just sit down and just and just write, write what it is that you hear, right? That is how I began to come into my spiritual awakening and understand that we're um, a spiritual being having a human experience because I would sit and I would write and I would journal and then I would go back. I would go back and I would read what I wrote down and I wouldn't, I, I would be like, wow, like I can't even, I don't even remember. Oh shoot, y'all. My phone about to die. And I would be like, yo, I don't even remember writing this, right? Claire cognizant. Also, two, doing activities where you're active, but your mind is clear. So maybe working out, driving in a car, brisk walking, jogging, but keep your mind clear and pay attention to how certain thoughts, words, ideas just come into your mind, right? Kind of like if you were sitting and someone asked you a question, like if I said, what's your favorite color? Where do you want to go on vacation next? And what's your favorite food? That information would just come into your brain. That is the same way that clear um, cognizant messages will come into you. It's just annoying. It's just there, right? Um, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, so definitely I want you guys to journal. Journal, journal, journal. Don't um, acknowledge a gift. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I want to tell y'all. Activities with a clear mind, right? And just pay attention to the, how the ideas come in. And I think that is it. Um, oh, also too, I want to let you guys know. I want to let you guys know that also too, being able to just, um, I just really want you guys to trust your gift, okay? I want to be mindful of what it is that I say. I just really want you guys to trust your gift. I want you to trust your, your gut instinct. I want you to go what it is that you know. Um, w w go, go with what it is that you just know, okay? Um, because a part of the gift is just being able to know information and you did not necessarily have to research it or anything like that, right? So trust, trusting your gut is going to be very, very important. That is really, really, really going to strengthen your gift. Sometimes you just know, right? So after y'all watch this video, I don't want y'all doubting y'all self. I don't want y'all doubting y'all gut and saying, if you get an idea, if you get a message, if you get an inkling about something and you feel like you know, I want you to stand on, stand on what it is that you know and you will begin to strengthen your psychic gift muscle. You're going to strengthen your muscle, okay? You're going to strengthen your psychic muscles and that is what I am here that is what I'm here to motivate and encourage you guys to do, okay? It's going to be very important. It's going to get you out of uh, life-threatening situations. But not only that, on the flip side of that, 
it is going to make you valuable and useful in your family and your community on your job right in your career because you're going to step into just being able to have information downloaded to you from the angelic realm right it's going to put you at an advantage because you're going to know certain things that other people don't know okay but if we're always doubting ourselves, second guessing ourselves or, or just downplaying it and just assuming that like, oh, it's nothing. Oh, it's just a coincidence. Then we are not giving ourselves the space to really strengthen that gift. Right. And that is what I want for all of y'all, all my divine masculines. OK, so you guys, that's all I got for y'all today on this divine masculine mondays that's all i got for you guys what i want you guys to do i want you to hit the bell button subscribe so you know that every time i post up i want you to share this link with your friends share with your friends my social medias are below i don't even know why i said medias because i only got one so if you don't follow me on instagram follow me on instagram follow me on the gram y'all and um, remember, I love you. Peace.